Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. I've got one easy job to finish off the day. This is a Siemens FS140 surge protector. This is top notch for residential surge protection. We've got one unit we charge $2,000 for that's just like, ah, oh, the creme de la creme. But this bad boy is much more affordable and still super robust protection. That FS140 stands for 100 40,000 amps of surge protection. That's fantastic. In addition, it comes with nice three foot leads. Let's put this in and wrap the day up. Let's take the electrical panel cover off. Left forearm is braced against the panel. Last screw's coming off. Ultimately, you do have a big hunk of steel and conductive energized parts right behind it. So nice and easy. Rock that baby off. There it is. I usually put the screws right in the bottom. Again, it's another routine. The Siemens FS140 is recommended to be installed on a two pole 20 amp breaker. I'm gonna rock that in. That's it. Almost there. It's a tight fit. We're gonna be installing this inside the electrical panel. I'll tell you a couple tips and tricks. Pay attention, this is really important. One, there is a flush trim kit. If I wanted to install this below or beside the panel, beside would be real hard because you'd have the studs to deal with. But below, that flush trim kit is good for less visible locations. The aesthetic concerns in this particular location being the kitchen, non-starter. So this is going fully inside the panel. Two, I've got a threaded top to this surge protector that takes three quarter inch standard threads. I have got a chase nipple in there as a bushing for those wires so that they do not chafe on the threads. So that is now tool tight. I like that. Few more tips. One, you wanna keep the conductors as short and straight, free of bends is what I mean, as possible. So when we installed this panel last week, we saved the first breaker spot. This two pull 20 is recommended as close as possible to the incoming power. So that's ideal. This will be nice, gently bent, no sharp bends or kinks. Also, what's unique about the Siemens FS140 is that, and the other FS um, line of product is that there are green LEDs that'll illuminate when it's energized. When those, uh, if the unit should ever fail, those LEDs will turn off, a red LED will be illuminated and now you're saying, well, it's inside the breaker panel, who's ever gonna see that? But once every 10 years when this cover comes off, it does have a beep, if or when it should fail. And it, it should last for 20, 30, 40 years, whatever. But if or when it does fail, it has an audible beep to indicate that so you know you've lost protection and you can get that unit replaced. So is there something particular about this home that requires or recommends surge protection? Because not every home in America has surge protection. So what are the advantages and considerations? Well, I'll tell you what, the 2020 National Electrical Code is the first code that required surge protection for dwellings. See, there's so much connected value in the modern home. Um, particularly with the arrival of electric vehicles, we're now talking about not just tens of thousands of dollars of connected value. And by that I mean kitchen appliances, heating and cooling equipment, light bulbs, entertainment, recreation, lawn equipment, anything that's electrified, but also EVs. There, there's hundred or hundreds of thousands of dollars of value of connected equipment. And so this has been addressed. Um, the abbreviation for surge protective devices is SPDs. You might see that show up. Um, that code is found in article 230.66 or 67. You'll see it. SPDs for dwellings. All right, now these are the conductors that you really wanna have as short as possible. One thing, when you're stripping a stranded conductor like this, you'll want to use the next size up. So for instance, 
with your breaker in the off position, of course, while I'm terminating this. Um, if you're stripping 12 gauge stranded conductor, you'll want to use the 10 gauge strip hole on your strippers. And then when you're terminating that, you're going to want to wiggle it and seat it. This is on a two pole 20 amp breaker, but it will never pull under regular conditions 20 amps, right? It's only going to pull very, very small, like fractions of an amp draw to run the electronics. During a surge event, it will carry instantaneous power. A surge event is typically milliseconds. It will carry an enormous amount of power for milliseconds until that event is resolved. So I've got a gentle swooping bend on those conductors. I'm wiggling as they terminate. They're as functionally as short as possible. First breaker position, there it is. If you're interested in more types of surge protectors and other types of sales around electrical panels, check out this video here and subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money.